Hi there, this is Alexandra with IDA TV, and today we are talking with Lale Mehran. It's so nice to meet you. Do you want to talk to us a little bit about your installation and what was the inspiration for your project? Yes, thank you. So uh, it is an interactive immersive installation uh, comprised of a drawing machine. Um, the drawing machine has this very delicate gold pendulum that uh, basically with a very sharp tip uh, scribes in uh, sand, which actually is not sand, it's coal slag, so a petroleum byproduct, this really intense and beautiful arabesque sacred geometry. Um, and what it does is when there's nobody in there, it has this perfect pattern that it draws, um, very much reminiscent of of uh, perfect ideologies where there's nobody there, um, no humans, and so everything is ideal. Um, but when people enter the space, uh, there's a little motion sensor and it actually speeds up and so it goes into a spiral um, and it creates these little um, kind of pockets. Um, and I would argue that it's actually more beautiful when it's not perfect. It's more interesting when you actually have um, a person or groups of people that come in and create these like more unique shapes. And obviously I'm talking about this as symbolic for um, other things that have to do with um, democracy and uh, bigger geopolitics. Um, and then there's a live camera that feeds um, and shows you a, a huge pendulum. So it's kind of a satellite point of view. And then from that is the immersion of um, basically visuals. And so there are motion graphics that are live. So they're not videos. They are three movements, but you'll never see the same thing twice, um, which sometimes I'm like, oh, I love this and I wish we were on a loop. Um, but you get to see unique things. And so the three movements, are basically more of the sacred geometry. Um, another one is topography, so kind of understanding what it means to go into different landscapes um, and uh, the different places, uh, different countries, um, and uh, kind of um, navigate that. Um, and then the third one is very much, it looks like oil and water and how it kind of pushes through in these kind of uh, fluid forms. So I'm talking about um, natural resources, oil, water particularly, um, but as well as um, what it means to have have kind of geopolitical connections to those natural resources and particularly going into um, what we call foreign countries and to kind of utilize and extract that and what it does to the humans um, as one does uh, that kind of um, negotiation or, um, or just taking. Absolutely, your idea behind it is just amazing. Did you have a long process of working with this machinery and did you try with a bunch of different um, tactiles and different uh, material before finding the right one that would fit the project? Uh, definitely. So um, I'm very fortunate that um, my partner is actually an engineer and an artist in his own right. So Chris Coleman is the one who did the machine um, because it's a it's custom machine, custom software. Um, and so it was it was a lot of testing to figure out how to do this. I actually have a version of this that's about 12 by 18 feet. Um, and I love to have that because the physicality of it makes sense. When we talk about these really abstract big notions of, you know, politics over there or literally getting things under the earth that you can't see or invisible. I think you need to have the presence of it, which I think is why people are touching um, the machine, which is not the best for uh, the art object. Um, but I, I totally appreciate and understand why. Um, so yeah, I've been working a lot with that and, and the coal slag I find to be, it's so beautiful, it's so compelling. It looks like diamond dust, but it actually is a petroleum byproduct. And I think it's really important to have this allure of something, but understand where it comes from and it's actually pretty dirty and you don't want to be touching it and it's not good for you. So this kind of push pull of, of um, the, the desire for something, but understanding uh, the kind of root of it is also really important and um, been, been working a lot with geometric shapes for years. And so also quite fascinated with how one uh, very simple shape can um, be multiplied and then become so complex. And again, more as kind of a metaphor for um, people, right? So one person can have a particular strength, but when you have more of them, we really become powerful. Absolutely, and I have just one last question. So um, to create this project, how long did it take you? Uh, and did you like come into it with a direct idea or is it something that as you were working with it, it slowly came to piece together? Um, just like what was your process working with that? Uh, always lots of experimentation and failure. Um, so I'll, I'll share one point of failure with the world, um, which is uh, I really wanted um, at the end of the day for the sand to uh, be able to settle itself without having to do this very zen squeegee kind of thing. Um, and I tried all these uh, vibrating motors and it did not work. And so and now it's back to kind of manual labor. Um, so it is, it's always a lot of um, experimentation. Um, sometimes the things that are failures are more interesting than the perfect thing that you had in mind. So trying to embrace that um, and having a uh, 
an engineer who is basically able to to kind of make um, the the most crazy ideas come to fruition um, with a custom machine is is pretty magical. So it, it's all it's it's a back and forth definitely with like some things have to be very formulated and, and designed and other things you can experiment with and 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 you know try to figure out like how aesthetically and viscerally and kind of uh, you know emotionally it works together. Absolutely, just constantly learning from any failures or anything that might <laughs> come along the way. Yeah, 100%. Well, it's so nice talking to you, and I just hope that we get to chat again at some uh, next year, perhaps, and then we see your next project. You're so inspiring, and it's just so fun talking to you. Thank you. I'm delighted and honored. Thank you so much. This is Alexandra from IDA TV, and we hope to see you again.